I want to revise all my jobs to having been promoted. And I want to revise all my relationships so that I'm the chosen one. Instead of having all those end abruptly and leaving me confused. Today we're going to dive into Rabia's question. This is really good. Because we're going to fix one of the really common revisions mistakes people make. Because we get emails all the time from people. They say, they, and they tell us, I've got a lot that I need to revise. And immediately they've entered into some way of making this work. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take loads and loads of energy. And I got to tell you, that is not how we teach revision. That's not how we do revision. So I asked a question and I said, let's have some fun. Let me ask, why do you want to revise all that? What would revising all that give to you? And the answer is the, of course, you know, a revising would kill the pattern. <laughs> uh, I got it. This is important. You don't have to kill every instance though, to kill the pattern. Now here's the cool thing. Ready? Yesterday. I ate a whole pack of Twiggy sticks. Uh, that's what we call them here. They're meat sticks, right? They're just, they were hot and spicy meat sticks. Me and the puppies, right? We ate a whole thing of them. Victoria had one. The puppies and I, we had a lot. And, you know, I, I've done this before, but I don't have to revise every time that I've eaten way too much of a snack. You know what I mean? Like, I can simply revise yesterday. Because I used to be the guy that, like, I'd sit down pretty much every night way back in the old country in the old days. And I could have a lovely snack every night. You know, nachos with cheese, way too much, right? Nachos with cheese. I could have me some chicken wings. Like, like yeah, I used to snack a lot. And then I decided I was going to break that pattern. And here's what I did. Ready? If the pattern showed up yesterday, I revise yesterday. If the upset about the pattern showed up yesterday, I revise yesterday. And that's it. I'm done. You don't have to revise time after time after time after time. If it showed up yesterday, you revise yesterday. If it showed up at breakfast, feel free to revise breakfast. So if I want to build something in, now here's the thing, right? Right? Your desires are divine in origin. Your problems aren't, right? Your problems are basically mental mischief. Write that down. Whatever mental tries to run the show, mischief shows up. Meanwhile, mental mischief has you labeling yourself. Well, it would have me labeling myself as someone who like is out of control with snacks, chronically an overeater. Oh my God. If I continue at this rate, I can imagine being severely obese. <laughs> Clogged arteries, heart attack, consequence. Or I could just simply do this, right? What's my desire? Yeah, to just have a few. No big deal. Yum. Share a little bit with my wife and puppies. Just have a few. Done. What's my desire? Just to enjoy a few. You see, whenever you make this anti-anything, whenever you make this a fix-it tool, you, you're going to keep trying to find things to fix. Meanwhile, revise yesterday if it showed up yesterday. If the behavior showed up yesterday, if, the, if a response to the behavior showed up yesterday. Now, here's the thing. What if it didn't? Could you assume that it's over, that you're no longer that? You see, I can easily assume that I'm no longer a chronic overeater. I saw love and someone who snacks like he's out of control. I was out of control. I had post-traumatic stress disorder. Food and alcohol, they were a way of life. You know, that was, you, you get enough of those good happy chemicals in you, sleep. Well, at least I got some sleep after eating and drinking a lot. Right? We call that a coping mechanism. Right? Another one is never having a snack or a drink again. All right, that's called survival. I'm not a fan of survival. You are eternal. You don't need to survive. You need to soar. So here's my suggestion. Revise yesterday. We also did a live call. We noticed there are still mistakes people are making. And so 
recently we did a live call. It was Rapid Revision Secrets. You can get the recording at nevillegoddardstore.com. Rapid Revision Secrets. We took 90 minutes and we explored how I explore and experience how we really nail revision easily. Because revision should be fun. It was Neville's favorite tool. I didn't like it at all for years. Because I was doing it all wrong. I was turning it into work. <laughs> so, in closing, revise yesterday. If the behavior showed up yesterday, if a internal response showed up to the behavior yesterday, simply revise yesterday. If it showed up at breakfast, revise breakfast. And if you want to invest in you while supporting the project and you want to get my latest insights and experiences with revision, Rapid Revision Secrets, that live call recording, is at nevillegoddardstore.com. Have a lovely day, Rabia. I appreciate you asking about this. You're going to bless a lot of people. And if you do what we say, and I'm sure you will, you will simplify your life exponentially. Enjoy Rapid Revision Secrets at nevillegoddardstore.com. And now we go into the silence. And while you're there, why not revise yesterday? Tune something up. Turn some bad into good, some good into great, as we go into the silence. All right, simple equals speedy, speedy equals simple, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Have a lovely day. Be blessed. Thank you for listening.